your God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Chapter 13, The Reality of the Skeptic and the Doubter Realities are constantly demonstrating amazing feats and special abilities. However, critics, skeptics, and cynics could never experience this kind of thing. The universe is such an amazing and wonderful place that every single person on the planet could look at a given situation and see it just exactly the way that their own reality dictates it to be. Even if a real magic trick is demonstrated in front of a skeptic, from the skeptic's point of view within his own reality, there will be a way to explain how the trick was done by deception, even if it was not. But that is the perfection of the universe that we live in. Our own realities are maintained at all times. How great is that? It is very important for you to clearly understand that the skeptic is not negative. He is instead absolutely positive about his own reality. We can all learn a lesson from the skeptic in that regard. They diligently defend and protect the reality that they have come to know and believe. They refuse to allow any information or evidence in that would in any way disturb their own reality. You should be the same way in diligently defending your own reality, especially if it is not solidified yet and permanent. You should defend his right to his beliefs and his own reality as you would defend your rights to your own reality. I would never want to hear that a skeptic was convinced that his point of view was wrong. That would be a clear violation of the reality system of the universe. We have the right and the ability to create our own reality as we see fit. This self-created reality should stand firm on the foundation of its own beliefs and should at all times appear to be correct. It should never experience situations and events that disprove its own validity. This reality, self-protection, is not only provided to the skeptic, but it is also provided to you and every other perceiver in the universe. You wouldn't want other people to be able to change your reality, would you? Fortunately, they cannot. Only you can alter your own reality in any way that you wish. It makes no sense to even try to convince a skeptic of anything. If his reality maintains a skeptical point of view, it will not let him experience anything that would upset his foundational beliefs. While you might want to ruin his day by proving him wrong, this is in fact a good thing that you cannot because for the same reason that the skeptic's reality and beliefs are protected from harm or change, so are yours, and you wouldn't ever want it any other way. You may think, but when the skeptics are reading this book, they will become aware of the example of the molten lead in the guy's mouth, or the woman who lived for 30 years without eating or drinking, or even the woman whose fingers were in the candle flame for 10 minutes without harm. Well, that is true, but they will say that, the stories are exaggerated, false, or misunderstood. There will always be an out that lets them maintain their own reality. Even if some amazing event happens in person, they will have been looking the other direction, quote-unquote, accidentally, at the very moment that the event happened, and will have missed it altogether. The point is that not only do they want to see it their way, they actually can't see it any other way. When I say accidentally, I don't mean to imply that it was purposeful or intended on the part of the skeptic, but instead it was purposeful and intentional on the part of their reality, which will do or cause what it needs to in order to prevent him from experiencing something 
that is outside his beliefs. It is almost impossible for them to see and know what you see and know. God bless the skeptics for being as true to who they are as you are being to who you are. So if someone doesn't believe in your idea or your abilities or anything else, just know this is not evidence that your idea or plan or abilities are not valid. They just cannot see what you can see and cannot know what you can know and cannot see the same options and opportunities that you can because their reality resonates with them like yours does and therefore it is absolutely invisible to them. Interestingly enough, when a skeptic comments on this book in his usual skeptical way, it will not contradict the principles set forth in this book, but instead it will only confirm them in that it will be evidence of the skeptic's own reality protecting and confirming itself, just as it should be. Nothing could be more predictable or more appropriate than to have a skeptic take opposition to the material in this book. If a skeptic were to be converted by the material presented in this book, it could only be because he was already leaning toward a newer, more enlightened point of view. Otherwise, due to the perfection of separate and powerful individual realities, he could not and would not. Ironically, the more criticism this book gets, the more it proves itself. Let the skeptics be without criticism nor contempt. They have every right to their own reality just as you have the right to yours. It is not your business to change them or anyone, just as it is not anyone else's business to change you. Everyone in this magnificent universe has the God-given right to have a reality of their own choosing and making within which they will enjoy their own physical life experience. So be it. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 13, Segment Number 2. Let your quest for knowing continue.